Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to add some exterior curtain shades for these uh, kinds of glass walls. So I have this model here, this symbol house, and I will be adding um, curtain uh, panels to these uh, glasses right here. So let's begin. Uh, let's check the units for one moment. Okay, let's change that to meters. Okay, and let's select the curtain wall. Uh, we will need a specific measurement to make uh, the curtain panels. So let's first of all select a fixed distance and here as well okay let's say two meters vertical and uh, three horizontal let's see that that looks fine so now we have to make some curtain panels in those dimensions. To make uh, these curtain panels we should go to the start and then to new and family. Now we have to navigate in the folders of Revit and look for family templates. Let's select the English ones and then look for metric curtain wall panel and open. Okay, so this is the floor plan. Let's go to the exterior elevation. Let's zoom all. Okay. So this is the front view of the curtain wall. Let's choose the dimensions that we need. Uh, we need three meters in height. So let's. Something went wrong. Undo. Let's check the units. UN. Okay, it's in millimeters. Let's make it in meters. Okay. Okay. Now, let's choose three meters in height. And we need a total of two meters in length. So, one meter here. The other one changed automatically. So we're good. Now, first of all, let's uh, design the glass because when we will add the um, curtain wall, the previous glass will uh, uh, disappear. So we need the glass uh, in this file as well. So go to create, the extrusion, and let's design with the rectangle tool. Great. Now this is the um, uh, width of the glass. Right now it's 25 centimeters, which is way too too much. So let's say two centimeters. Apply. Finish. Let's go to 3D view to see what we have. Okay, so now we have this piece of glass and we should add the curtain walls on top of it. Let's go back to the elevation and let's add some metal framing. Go to create, extrusion and 
rectangle again. Let's add a rectangle like that. Maybe five centimeters. by 5 centimeters okay click finish and now let's move this right here uh, let's copy that check multiple Okay, let's see what we have in 3D. Okay, now we have the metal framing, but it needs to be longer. So let's go to the floor plan and maybe first select one of them. Let's say around 20 centimeters or maybe 30 centimeters in length okay now let's go back to the exterior and since this is the one that we made that we corrected let's remove the previous ones and copy this one And here in all of the corners let's see what we have in 3d okay great now we should add one more metallic part right here to hold the, the panels uh, maybe let's go to another elevation Zoom all. Okay. Okay. Now let's create again an extrusion. Mm, I think it would be better if we go to the floor plan and start from here create an extrusion, a rectangle and make a rectangle like that 0 0.5 again click OK and then let's go to the elevation and find the rectangle we just made and elongate it from there to here Okay, now we can copy that here. Let's go to 3D view. Okay, now we have the complete frame. I think it's time for the panels. Let's go to the right elevation and create some panels for the shade. Go again to create, extrusion, and now you can make any shape you like the panels. I make some very simple uh, minimal rectangle, but it has to be very thin. Let's say one centimeter so 0 0.01 meters okay and in length maybe 25 centimeters great now click ok and let's move it here No, 
now at this point you can rotate the panels as much as you like let's rotate them like that and now let's go to the exterior view and let's make this panel wider so it can touch in the metal framing maybe like that okay let's go back to the right elevation and make more of these copy multiple every 30 centimeters maybe it looks fine you can also type 0 0.3 and enter to be precise nice now let's go to the 3d view and see what we have okay i think it needs one more on the top let's go to the right elevation maybe move all of them a little bit on the top with the arrow keys and add one more on the bottom That's better. Okay, now let's uh, add some materials. Uh, I want all the parts to be metal besides the glass. So let's select everything first. Go to the option, the properties right here. The material. And let's click here to find something metallic looking maybe this titanium looks nice let's go to realistic okay that looks fine but the glass needs to be transparent so let's change that to glass okay okay I think we are okay we are ready click load into project and now that we have it on the project we can uh, select one of the glass panels like that and drop the menu here and find our family this is the family we created earlier. So if we click on that, now we have some panels, but they are they're inside, but we need them outside. So let's change that. Let's go to the first floor here and let's select the curtain wall and change the orientation so that's an easy fix 
let's go back to 3d view maybe that's better maybe select a few more with the tab and maybe this one as well and click on the family and here it is so that's about it for any recommendations for future tutorials please comment below thanks for watching see you next time